It's time for Managing Harmony and Grace, a showcase of Central Florida's inspirational gospel singers. I'm Melvin Grace, your host for the next 30 minutes, and good morning and welcome, and this beautiful Palm Sunday. And we've got good things planned all day. And I wonder where you view our program, always have your pencils and paper handy, where you may jot down places, times, and dates, and go on to the programs whenever they're in your town. We begin our program with the Pentecostal House of Prayer out of Coco. And while we're sitting at that director, the solemn rite is the sponsor, and we'll be out to sing for us the Lord's Prayer, the Pentecostal House of Prayer of Coco. <laughs>
see here on our program, if you have an organization or in a church or a business or whatever, and you're having some uh, fundraising drive or something, and you'd like to have some of these members, you write me early enough that we'll get in touch with them, and they'll be happy to come and be a part of you from wherever you are, right? And remember to write harmony and grace. You'll be in slack with your letters now. We talk about wanting to be on an hour, but unless we have that power of the pen, it really grows in the subject. I like to come in one day and have a whole bag of letters all over the place. It can't be if you would write to us because your letters are the blood flow of our program. And now, the Pentecostal House of Prayer out of Cocoa, these people are somebody else, aren't they? And uh, while it's still the right thing, and the Southern Right the sponsor, they say, no, look to me. It's about how many days and there is no show under the sun like this program. That's why we say write to us because your letters are important no matter where you are. All right, let's have from the Revelation uh, out of Coco. They shall salve, they say salvation means more on this beautiful Palm Sunday. And remember this, this is what it's all about. <laughs>
everybody that has anything to do the other cause of our Palm Sunday poem, all right? Yeah, anyway, I think it's kind of nice. Todd, uh, Todd Hickey of a pop song. Your announcer was too late, friend. When the days of May Hawkins and Mobita, Florida, now that's the Mott family you were trying to remember the pop song. And they'll be here in May on your screen in May. And I'm sure Charles Vickers likes to remember him. And for Annie Mae Graham, your cousin of Rockledge, Florida, and Willie Lee uh, Craddock and the family of Mobita, Florida, and the Alice Battles and family will dedicate our next song. And the other must be Edward of Webster, Florida. Your announcer was too late, Reverend. And uh, Avery Street Ch uh, A -A Church of God, your master was too late. And thank Barnum of Avita, Florida. And give the true Church of God uh, a hello for us and the pastor, Mr. Dumas, from Harlem and Grace. Now, uh, I don't seem to remember the group from Mr. Washington's church. Well, if you do, you write me and let me know. And I will two more groups from Sanford, and you'd have to let me know which one you were talking about, all right? Now, there, let's hear from the Pentecostal House of Prayer of Coco, and uh, they're going to say, say, God said it. And this is it. <laughs> Of Florida, about Jacksonville, I'm happy to. I sure am. And we're back there right again. Yes, we're there now. Uh, and you're right, the fellow, uh, the fellows are great. And about that, and, and about my speaking, thank you again for reminding me. No, I don't mind a bit. In fact, I appreciate that. And I won't forget. Thank you very much. Now, maybe about all the parish and family of Oklahoma. Thank you for being on time all the time, huh? Your family deserves how many graces. Hello, and the best of it of your new house, so don't stop. Freddie Hill, Billy, and all the men at Lake Correctional Institute in Claremont, Florida. Uh, Freddie, thanks for writing. And give all the men our best from Harmony and Grace, will you? And we appreciate you being with us each Sunday morning. And we wish you could be on longer. And maybe we will depend on the letter and the way you write to us. Because we want to hear from you wherever you are. All right, the Pentecostal House of Prayer. Now, as I'm going to just finish singing, we're going to hear from Revelation. And he says, Bread of Life. Listen to them. This is for all of you here in our program on this Palm Sunday.
other officials or the other officials of the Pentecost that are supplying revelation out of cocoa, I want to recommend you, and I think that you ever recommend you, and I think you're something else. And by the way, those whoever writes your songs or whoever arranges them or whoever uh, thinks about whatever song you're going to sing and goes through that, I think they're to be committed also because that takes some doing. And then when you rehearse that way and you present yourself the way you're doing today, you are to be commended for what you're doing. And then we want to remind you that today being Easter Sunday, services are going to be here. Well, I imagine they have done that already at the, the 6 o'clock this morning, so we won't even bother to make mention.
thing around this beautiful Easter Sunday, that's what it is, you know. Easter, Easter all the way around. And wherever you're going and wherever you might not be going, take some Easter along with you because that's always a good thing to do when you come. How about that heavy day with the Easter bunny? See, this is what the bunny will do for us. Thank you so kind. Let's double him. That's our director around these parts. And see, we have everybody around the thing to sort of do something to keep our program going with the palm. We have the egg in the back against the, you see, like that picture rest and all that sort of thing. Isn't that nice? And then you have Easter along with it to make it nice. And that's the guys who run the video, the audio, the camera, and everything. And we got Indian them and cookies and three musketeers and I don't know what all. See? All of the something. You're not alone when it comes to harmony and grace. And you take it along with you today, you hear? The good thing is the same hours. Revelation now out of Cocoa, they say, uh, do you know the life? And what do you do <laughs> Shining, we're not, would you mind if I take a bite of them, Sandy? Simply because the fellas did it and I won't.